Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and welcome to 2024. Such a weird thing to say, time doesn't feel right these days, but it's true, and another year means another 12 months packed with things happening for The Division. So, in this video, I'm going to be going down the list, covering all of the games, projects, and other events that we know are coming up for The Division franchise in 2024. And if you find this helpful, and you want to stay updated on everything we go over in this video, then be sure to hit that subscribe button, and then you can check off that box for doing a good deed in the new year. That's a thing, right? Anyway, let's dive right in. And timestamps will be down below for you to skip around to whichever division property you want to hear about. Beginning with The Division 2. The plans for the game in 2024 look a bit different than we had thought even just a few months ago, but I do think this year will prove to be a quite popular one for the long-standing sequel. The first major update for the year arrives in the form of Year 5 Season 3, titled Vanguard, and it's currently scheduled to be just one month away, dropping on February 6th. On the story side of things, this season takes us back to New York City, somewhere we haven't gone for the story in many years. And we're going to be following up with Kelso after her sudden departure to the Big Apple a few seasons back. A lot of anticipation has been built up about what her motivations are and what she may have discovered, but we also know from the developers that this season is going to heavily dive into giving us context and greater insights towards the events of the game's Warlords of New York expansion, including finally figuring out what was meant by Rogue Agent Aaron Keener's famous last words, you have no idea idea what's coming. So that alone is quite exciting, but alongside this, the Vanguard update is also delivering us Project Resolve. Now, this was only revealed to us a short time ago, but its impact on The Division 2 will last for years. In essence, Project Resolve aims to resolve the game's biggest problems. This means eliminating the random crashing PC players have been combating for years, retooling the game's code and infrastructure to make developing further content on it smoother and less prone to problems, and far more. And on top of that, Project Resolve also tackles many gameplay-based changes. This includes a big update coming to PvP, including new counterplay options to status effects, a diminishing return system, instant armor kits, and more, a wide rebalancing across endgame weaponry, aiming to make far more options far more viable across both PvE and PvP, and many more quality-of-life initiatives like a new recalibration on the Go system, skill mod inventory streamlining, big buffs to global event player power, and so much more. Overall, Project Resolve and the Vanguard update strive to establish a new foundation for The Division 2 to build upon in the years to come, as seems to be Ubisoft's plans for the shooter. That all arrives in February, and then after that, it is on to Year 6. According to the latest roadmap, Year 6 Season 1 will follow up likely sometime in the summer, delivering further quality-of-life improvements, a new manhunt, and a new apparel event. And then, Year 6 Season 2 will drop later in the year. Now, this is going to be the other heavy hitter update of the year, and that is because this update is slated to deliver Seasons 2.0, which is basically just the name for one big package's worth of changes. Now, keep in mind, everything I'm about to outline is what was described by the devs earlier in 2023. We've yet to receive more recent information, but but big picture, Seasons 2.0 does a few big things. For one, yes, it will redesign the game's seasonal content structure, whether that means transforming, adding to or removing the manhood system, redesigning the battle pass in some way or another, right? We just have no idea as of right now. But beyond this, the devs have also outlined how this will redesign the Division 2's endgame overall. And from their description, that means recontextualizing all endgame content, making it clearer for new players what the distinctions are between different types of content and what they should be playing, and overall giving greater purpose towards each activity type, as opposed to the more free-for-all approach that we have right now. And one last exciting part in this whole deal is the introduction of a brand new item type to the game. What that exactly will be, again, no details for now, but it's supposed to be some form of a new lootable, build-insertable item type that we can farm multiple variations of, just like all other aspects of our builds. So, the Seasons 2.0 package overall and everything that is slated to be coming with Year 6 Season 2 is quite exciting in my eye, and I can't wait to hear more about it. With that, we move on to one of the franchise's upcoming spin-offs, The Division Heartland. This is the free-to-play survival action shooter title in the works at Red Storm Entertainment. It is a brand new, standalone game being made for consoles and PC. I always have to clarify that because I get many questions and comments thinking otherwise. But the plans for this game in 2024 are both ambiguous and clear. After a pretty hefty showing at last year's Division Day event, the team at Red Storm announced that a closed beta would be occurring over the summer. And as that went into motion, things seemed to be on track for a back half 2023 release. That was until roughly a month after the beta concluded, Red Storm put out a message letting us know that they received tons of feedback and they had planned to put their heads down and focus more on development for the remainder of the year, and that the next update on the game would arrive in 2024. So, 
that's where we're at. Things have been rather quiet, and until further notice, myself and everyone else are just anxiously awaiting more news. At this point, I don't care to try and speculate on a release or do anything like that. I think we just need to wait and see what they have in store. I will say I am pretty confident that this update they've talked about from the team will arrive at Division Day 2024, which we'll cover in greater detail shortly, but I imagine that event will return and happen sometime around March or April, so stay tuned for what Heartland has cooking. Next up, we get to The Division Resurgence. This is the upcoming mobile title spinoff for The Division franchise. Fortunately, we do have a much more concrete roadmap on what's in store for this game in 2024, and that's that, the launch is fast approaching. After a lengthy regional beta phase in November and December, it has been communicated by the development team and Ubisoft that Resurgence will launch before the end of fiscal year 2023. And for anyone who doesn't know, on Ubisoft's calendar, a fiscal year ends on March 31st. So in less than three months' time, The Division Resurgence will launch globally. And that's quite exciting, making it the first spin-off for the franchise to ever release. Even though I know it is not for everyone, I do think the opportunities this game has to introduce The Division brain to much wider audiences is promising. So stay tuned for that exact release date confirmation. I'll of course keep you posted. Those are the three game properties to track in 2024, but let's now shift focus to some of the transmedia projects in the Division universe that are either releasing or expecting major news this year. Beginning with novels. As I hope many of you are aware, if not, I have failed you. The Division franchise has had a new ongoing novel series since early 2022, titled The Operation Crossroads Saga. Two books have released thus far, Recruited and Compromised. I think they are excellent. They run concurrently and tie into various degrees with The Division 2's current story. And I will leave my reviews for both of them down in the description if you want to learn more. Well, it turns out that we have a third and final chapter of the trilogy releasing not only in 2024, but tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. The Division Hunted releases tomorrow, Tuesday, January 2nd, in ebook and US paperback formats. I released my early review of the book a while back, and I promise you, if you're a fan of The Division story or these other novels, you're not going to want to miss this one. I mean, it has a freaking hunter on the cover, right? What more do you want? I'll leave a link for this down in the description as well so that you can check it out. Moving on, let's talk about The Division Netflix film. Yeah, that elusive project that was announced all the way back in May 2021. What is up with it? Well, it's tricky. Consistently, director Ross and Marshall Thurber has insisted that this project is absolutely still happening and that it is not cancelled or otherwise changing direction. And for right now, I have no reason to not believe that. As someone who has worked a lot with the film industry, I know firsthand that films are not easy to make, and oftentimes the most difficult part is the planning and scheduling, especially when you have two big-name actors set to star like Jake Gyllenhaal and Jessica Chastain. The two main updates that we got on this thing in 2023 were first that there was apparently new set to drop just before the big writer and actor strikes occurred here in the States about midway through the year. Rawson came out and said as much, and that once they concluded, he'd hopefully be able to share. Months later, when they did conclude, we did not get that news, however, I did reach out to him and ask if he could share anything, and his response was, When the curtain finally, finally lifts, I can't wait to explain everything and why it all took so long, kills me to have to keep my mouth shut, hang in there everyone, it's frustrating, I know. So, the honest truth is that doesn't give us a clear picture of when to expect news on the project. However, every time Rawson speaks on it, it is with passion and a seeming dedication to make this thing happen. My personal theory is that we're going to get a cameo from the man himself during Division Day 2024, again more on that soon, to finally give us a real, proper status update on the film, hopefully providing a timeline for shooting, maybe even a release date, but like I said, that is just my own theory. Stay tuned for when the news does finally drop. And lastly, for Trains Media, we actually have a brand new medium for Division storytelling launching in 2024. This was announced back at Division Day 2023, but releasing at an unspecified point in 2024 will be an all-new webtoon. What this will be, to my understanding, is basically a digital comic book, and it follows the story of a teacher from Houston, Texas, who gets activated right as the Green Poison outbreak is beginning on Black Friday. Now, I think many of us love to see more First Wave agents and stories, so the premise here, especially Especially being in Texas is definitely promising, and in the coming months I'm sure we will get more info on where and when we can access this new tale. With that, we now move away from standalone projects within the Division universe, and as we wind down here, I want to discuss the how we might be getting conveyed all of this information we're awaiting. As you've already heard me say by now, I think the majority of the big information we're waiting to hear about will come in the form of a Division Day 2024. This was a new event that kicked off last year, and I think it got pretty solid reception, so I see no reason as to 
why they wouldn't continue that this year. Last year, the event happened on April 20th, kind of odd given the division's historical big month is March. But regardless, I do think that we will get another division day this year, and I think that will happen sometime in that March-April range. And as for what to expect from it, again, if it does happen, I think we'll likely get a year six story reveal for The Division 2, maybe a look at Seasons 2.0, if we're lucky, our first sneak peek of the 2025 Brooklyn DLC. I think we will absolutely get the next big update for Heartland, and then more scattered stuff like a movie update, the webtoon reveal, and probably new projects announced. It's been made pretty clear that a lot of stuff is in the works for The Division that hasn't been announced yet, and so a Division Day event is the opportune place to reveal all of that. So, like I said, stay tuned, but I expect Division Day to return this year, and if it does, then we've got a lot of announcements and reveals to look forward to from it. And there you have it, my friends. That is an overview of all of the major content updates, game releases, announcements, and other projects to look forward to from the Division universe in the year of 2024. I think once you factor in all of these different elements, the year does start to look pretty packed. I'm definitely looking forward to, obviously, Division 2 stuff, hearing more about Heartland, seeing this new webtoon, and of course, everything else. It's going to be great. As always, you can stay tuned right here on this channel to learn the latest when it does indeed drop. But I want to hear all of your thoughts. Jump down in the comments and let me know what your most anticipated release or moment is from The Division this year. Or your top five. I'm not picky. Either way, let me know. Can't wait to read through them all. And that is going to do it for me today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Rogue Gold. Ow.